in the third grade problem, which is uh, it's multiplication, nine times four. And if you look at this, this is the distributive property. And we actually use that vocabulary in third grade, okay? I didn't learn the street to probably until middle school, high school. And we were starting this in third grade. And it actually makes a lot of sense. So we start with the small numbers. Sometimes I'm like, I'm like, I already know this. I'm like, it's okay. Because if you can do it with the small numbers, then you can do 13 times seven. So I already drew my array of nine times four. Now, nine means the group, so I put nine dots, and I put four in each group. We have to make sure that we use different vocabulary multiplication. Nine fours, it's kind of weird, like count by four, or nine by four, or nine groups of four, nine times four, all the different vocabulary. So when I ask the kids to decompose nine, they hold up their fingers, and they'll go like this. And I said, what do you see? Five and four. And they said, why do we use five? And they say, because it's easy. So we're going to decompose. This is the distributive part, right? is when you break it apart or decompose it. I'm going to count five groups and decompose it. And the kids actually do this for their numbers, because for them to do nine times four, we don't want them to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. We don't want them to do that at all. We want them to use the facts they know to build. Eventually, yes, we want them to know them, but until they actually memorize them by understanding what it means, just memorizing them has no meaning to them. And that's why sometimes they can't do it because it's just, there's no conceptual understanding to it.